Hey everybody, bit of a vlog day today. Um, we're gonna go through a couple things here at the salon. I had a cancellation. It's uh, it's storming pretty heavy out right now. Let's go take it. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can uh, tell really, but So, I don't know, it's snowing pretty heavy, so we're just here at the salon, hanging out, uh, waiting for my next client, she should be here shortly, but we're going to talk a little bit about retail, um, and we're going to talk about some things to balance your time. I am having a really hard time lately to balance my time um, between YouTube and doing what I want to do, like reading a book and going to the gym and cooking good food and doing all that stuff. So we're going to talk a bit about that, but I do want to talk about retail a little bit. So this is what I have. This is what's come in. And how cute are these? Aren't they amazing? Like, look at them. They're so cute. And there's like nine or ten different flavors here. So these are Coconut Coast and Out of This World. How cute is that? So that is, and then of course, um, because I mean, who doesn't need some hemp's? But these are the ones that I have. Sorry about all the focusing. I haven't quite got this camera thing figured out yet. Someday I will. All right, so I guess we'll just move on with our day. Once my client gets here, we're gonna finish her, and then I'm gonna go home and cook supper. It's gonna be hungry today. I'm not sure really why, but um, I want to know something down below though. When I do the watch me work part of the video, would you rather have that sped up double time, like make it into a um, 10 minute fill or a 12 minute fill? Or do you want that left in real time, like a real time 30 minute um, fill, minus usually the filing. I end up not showing that because filing is filing no matter how you look at it. But do you just want to see the art? Do you want to see the full fill? What do you want to see? This is about what you want to see, so let me know. Let's do some nails. Hey, welcome back to a little bit of voiceover. Um, today we are doing some marble nails and I know that maybe this uh, camera setup isn't the best. I realize that now that, um, you know, once I was editing it, I'm trying really hard to find a different angle for the camera. So things are going to look a little bit different each and every time I film until I get it to be exactly like I want. So please just bear with me. If there's anything that's been missed in the video part, in the voiceover part, just put the question down below and I'm more than happy to answer it. I'm certainly not trying to hide any kind of technique that I'm using here. Um, so we're going to do some marble. I've included some pictures. Um, I believe there's a picture on the thumbnail as well. This, These aren't the actual pictures of her nails. These are actually the marble that I'm wearing on my own nails. Uh, problem is I forgot to take a picture of hers when we were done. So I've done the exact same technique, all 10 nails, same thing, um, just different hands wearing the nails. So I said a little bit earlier I wanted to talk about balance. Um, I had commented to a friend that I had filmed six or seven videos, hated them all, didn't like them, I was in too big of a hurry, they weren't working out, I wasn't leaving myself enough time, I just felt like I had kind of lost grip on balance with my time to try to be able to do all the things I want to do and need to do. So I did a little research and I just picked up nine little tips on uh, better ways to balance your life. So I wanted to go through these. These all don't pertain to me and they may all not pertain to you either, um, but one or two of them might and that is just enough to gain something from it. So number one was add at least three relaxation activities into your calendar every week. 
So every single week, three relaxation activities. Um, whether it's a walk, you know, playing, taking your dog for a walk, going to a dog park, whatever that might be. Number two, delegate whenever possible. Maybe it's time to get that cleaning lady at home, or maybe it's time to get someone to help you clean at the salon. Number three, do a seven minute workout every morning. Some of you may already work out at the gym every day, um, but a seven minute little quick workout in the morning will get you going. Number four, allow a digital decluttering during the weekends. So stay away from your social media a little bit during the weekends. Um, number five, speak to at least one family member or close friend for at least 10 minutes a day. I am a firm believer in this. Number six, review what you've done every week and recognize what isn't necessary. So I think we could all benefit from that a little bit. Recognize what is not necessary that we're spending our time at. Learn something new that's not related to work every week. Um, if you haven't used Skillshare, that is something that you could look into. I do use that. Journal your thoughts. Number eight, journal your thoughts and feelings every week. Um, this isn't something that I have ever found help to me any, but I know it really does for many, many people. Uh, number nine, take good care of yourself by getting the required amount of sleep. This is a big one for a lot of people that they're not able to do but that really is so necessary. You need to get the proper amount of sleep and you need to get the proper amount of hydration every day, proper amount of water. Um, so number, I believe, uh, five was decluttering of social media or technology on the weekends. So I want to talk about that. What do you do when your clients message you on a Sunday? Do you leave it? Do you wait for Monday or Tuesday if you're not in on Monday, some salons are closed, or are you answering them? Please let me know below what you do in the evenings and what you do on Sundays or Saturdays when your clients message you. Um, I think that's kind of an interesting thing because I know we all go through it, um, especially with social media nowadays. Um, I, I really would. I'd like to know what you do. So I really hope you enjoy this. It's a little uh, Sharpie marker, um, marble tutorial. I realize that the Sharpies aren't cosmetic grade. I understand that. I've gone over that with each and every client that I use them on. Um, but anyway, I love it. They love it. And I'm totally okay with using them and they're totally okay with wearing them. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please, if you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did. And if you possibly shared this to any of your own social media, that would really make my day. Have a great night.